Hello, welcome back to the start of another weekly vlog. I am kicking this one off in Houston. I promise we'll get back to the New York City vlogs eventually. But for now, we're in Houston. Uh, we got here, I almost said late last night, but actually we didn't get here until really early this morning. We were originally supposed to land at like midnight and our flight was delayed an hour. So we didn't end up landing until about one and then the luggage took forever. I don't know what the problem was at IH, but it, it was just insane. And so we didn't get our luggage and then get on the shuttle to the rent car place until after two. And the rent car place that we had reserved with was closed. So there was only one other rent car place open. So the options were either like rent a one day car from them, drive to his mom's and then have to drive back today and return and then pick up the other rent car. Uber to his mom's and then ask his sister to take us to the airport today, get the rent car and drive home. Or my suggestion, which is what we ended up doing, was it was like 2.30 by the time we were trying to like make this decision and the rental car place was opening at five and we were actually still on China time. We had both slept on the planes. So we were like pretty awake at that point. So I was like, we were also both starving. So I suggested let's go to somewhere that's open 24 hours, eat something, hang out for like an hour at that point by the time we were done eating and then come back and pick it up. So that's what we ended up doing. We Ubered to an IHOP. We had some pancakes and played some cards and then picked up the car at five and got home and got in bed by like six. So um, I slept until about 1.30ish. Um, so I did get a good night's sleep, I'm feeling okay. But like my, my body is on all kinds of crazy schedules and who knows what time it is or what day of the week it is. But we are getting ready to head out to the rehearsal dinner for the wedding that we have tomorrow. Sam is a reader at the wedding, so we were invited it's to the like rehearsal dinner. It's like a welcome dinner, not a rehearsal dinner. It's a welcome dinner, because they did the official rehearsal earlier while we were still in China. So, um, but we are, that is where we are headed now. Um, it's like lunch for us. As you know, Clayton is our firstborn, and from the beginning, Clay set the tone in our home, surrounding us with a super smart, super funny, and super friendly personality. And now, all the very best of Clayton shines brightest because of his great love for Jesse. Aww. Like we'll touch on later in this ceremony, things won't always be perfect or easy, but I believe from observing long-lasting relationships I admire that these choices are the foundation for abiding love. Y'all are without a doubt a relationship that has taught me this, and I thank you so much for letting us see your love and celebrate it with you today. Love is friendship caught fire. It is quiet, mutual confidence, sharing and forgiving. It is loyalty through good and bad times. It settles for less than perfection. 
and makes allowances for human weaknesses. Love is content with the present, hopes for the future, and does not brood over the past. It is the day in and day out chronicles of irritations, problems, compromises, small disappointments, big victories, and working toward common goals. If you have love in your life, it can make up for a great many things you lack. If you do not have it, no matter what else there is, it is not enough. The couple prepared these vows themselves, and as I read them, they'll now say I do in front of their family, friends, and loved ones gathered to witness. I love that. Jesse, do you vow to cherish not only your marriage, but also your friendship with Clayton? Clayton, do you vow to always choose Jesse without hesitation, no matter what? Jesse, do you vow to continue surprising Clayton with spontaneous adventures and surprises? <laughs> Clayton, do you vow to continue surprising Jesse with bouquets of flowers? <laughs> <laughs> Jesse, do you vow to respect, honor, and love Clayton until the end of time? <coughs> Finally, Jesse, do you take Clayton to be your lawfully wedded husband? And Clayton, do you take Jesse to be your lawfully wedded wife? You may or may not be familiar with the Jewish tradition of breaking a glass to conclude a wedding ceremony. Traditionally, it is performed by the groom, but Clayton has requested that his bride join him in performing this practice. In a moment, Clayton and Jesse will break this glass to acknowledge that even in times of great happiness and joy, some things are bound to go awry, but together they can conquer anything. For the rest of their lives, they will be a team. Through times of triumph and times of defeat, together they will build a life of happiness, supporting one another in all aspects. With that being said, it is my pleasure to declare Clayton and Jesse as husband and wife. Clayton, you may now kiss your friend. Aww. He's become a good friend, and he's fit into our family as if he's always belonged, which to me is a testament to the warm-hearted, loving person that Larry and Karen raised him to be. Now, when Clayton first mentioned Jesse to me, he told her, well, told me rather, that he had met her through the dating app, OkCupid, <laughs> which I know some of you probably know, it's an algorithm-based dating app. And I was a little bit skeptical, but Clayton had assured me they were pretty close to 100% compatible. <laughs> so when Jessica came around, I don't think she knew it at the time, I started testing her. Oh. <laughs> and, with little things. and let me tell you, she passed with flying colors. As the years went on, I took on many roles. I was her babysitter, her dance partner, and way too many Spice Girls jam sessions. <laughs> Her anger and the countless pretend newscasts and weather reports we did, her road trip companion and her fellow adventure taker. Occasionally I was her partner in crime, too. The one world that I always felt true with that was without a friend. Despite, <laughs> despite distance, age, and life changes, Jesse's always been my best friend. And I've never seen my best friend as happy or as so she is with Clayton. Like, Clay likes to joke around, and you know how to be a part of that without pretending to be above the silliness. At the same time, I think you do a great job of keeping
like grounded and scaling back some of his more like wild suggestions. <laughs> When looking up tips online on how to write a best man speech, one common theme was to deliver the speech entirely sober. Oops. After meeting her multiple times and getting to know her more, I remember telling Clayton, Dude, she's actually pretty amazing. Y'all are perfect for each other. And I couldn't have been more correct. <laughs> We're in Austin. We did it. We did it. We went to Ruska's. We went to, yeah. We So we got up super early, left Houston, and stopped at Ruska's in Ellinger on the way, and had some delicious kolaches. And they were amazing. She didn't want to go initially. I don't want to get up earlier to then stop. I just wanted to get going since our first appointment in Austin was at 10. Yet every single time we brought up going to Ruska's, Everybody, Everybody was like, said, oh yeah, that's oh, yeah, right. obviously. obviously. Like, what like, else would what, you do? Right, that's what you're doing. So. Of course. Anyways, now we are here in she Austin. She loved the kolaches, by the way. They were amazing. They were, it was really good. I won. I, I was right. Anyways, now we are about to head into our first appointment. Um, we are touring eight venues between today and tomorrow, for today and for tomorrow. I'm not planning to vlog the venues. I'm not planning to bring my camera. Um, I'm just gonna take pictures and maybe video clips on my phone, but I wanna really be able to focus on the venues and getting all my questions answered and all that stuff. But um, we will update you guys in the car after we see them. Two days later. Hello. I am very sorry. We didn't vlog at all while we were in Austin. It was a lot of work. I don't think we realized just how intense it was going to be between small talk and information and driving and recapping with each other and direction giving and I mean it was just a lot like we had allotted enough time in between them not knowing exactly how long each one was going to take and some took more time than others because we really liked them and we wanted to get more information and it was just a lot it was way more than I think we could have anticipated and so I mean when we were in the car like we took turns driving so obviously if I was the one driving I couldn't vlog and I could have asked Sam to pull out the camera and and vlog and I could have talked while I was driving um, but most of the time the person in the passenger seat was getting giving directions to the next location recapping what we just saw like writing down some of our notes and thoughts or like eating a snack or drinking or just like, kind of like taking a break. Um, we didn't want to do any additional talking. So we didn't vlog any of it and I apologize for that. But that is why I'm going live tonight to kind of recap everything that we did and probably everything that I would have said in the vlog anyway. If you didn't catch live on Wednesday, go check that out and get sort of a recap on how our two days went. I haven't done the live yet as of the time I'm filming this snippet. But I, I know what I'm going to talk about. I've already mapped it out what I'm going to say. So... Um, yeah, it was really, really good. It was really good. Um, at the end of yesterday, when he dropped me off at the airport, we had narrowed it down to three. And I'm going to talk about this in the live too, so I probably won't go into too much detail. But I spent the, the flight sort of trying to get through our thoughts on those three, and I think we've picked one. Uh, hopefully by the time this vlog goes up, we will have signed the contract, and it will be 100% official. But as of right now, we have not signed the contract yet. We're both reviewing it separately. He's still in Texas. So uh, that's where we're at right now. I got home a little while ago and I spent the first part just sort of tidying up a little bit. The bedroom is still a disaster and I have not unpacked. I decided I'm just going to unpack and repack at the same time. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. I'm saving that for tomorrow. Tonight, what I'm going to try to do is <sighs> I need to paint my nails because I need to film. And I, part of me was like, just put a clear top coat and call it a day and, and that'll be good enough. And I just can't, I can't get behind that. Um, I feel like I need, it doesn't take me that long to paint my nails. So I'm going to paint my nails um, and then hopefully film a video, a plan with me because I need to get the next couple of days planned out. I need to at least get down 
Thursday, like tomorrow, what I'm doing after work, um, and then Sunday. So if, even if that's all I get planned, um, it'll be helpful and that will be Friday's video. So I'm gonna film a plan with me and then I'm going live at eight and then I'm gonna call Sam. He's gonna be driving from Austin back to Houston. So we're gonna recap over the, the contract and just make sure we're on board with everything with the venue and then I might edit the play with me tonight or I might save that for tomorrow. We'll see how tired I am. Um, I did, I got a decent amount of sleep. Um, I didn't get home until like 11.30 from the airport, but I got, I mean, I didn't wake up and do anything early this morning. I like woke up at the last possible second to get to work. It was one of those kinds of mornings. I was telling um, someone this morning, a friend, I was like, uh, my new year starts next Monday. Like I'm doing some of the things. I'm reading the Daily Stoic. I've, I've read a lot of my books so far. I'm definitely making progress on the wedding stuff. Um, but like in terms of some of the morning stuff, like next Monday will be good because I literally have two more days. Not even. I have like tonight and tomorrow and then I leave Friday for Florida. So this is all I've got so far. Oh, I'm also going to show you some mail. I have a couple things I got in the mail that I want to share with you. All right, the first thing I wanna show you is this five-year journal. The company Unbound Planners actually reached out to me on Instagram and asked if there was anything on their site that I was interested in, and so I took a look. I've been trying to be a lot more thoughtful recently about what I say yes to, and it's for a couple of reasons. One, I just don't need stuff. I'm trying to get rid of stuff, so if it's not something that I would genuinely use, then I'm not likely to accept it, unless it's something that I know that I wanna share with other people. And I do feel like that I would provide any sort of insight on it. Um, but for the most part, um, if I'm not going to use it, I'm going to say no. But when I saw these on the website, I was like, yes, I've been wanting to do something like this. I tried to do something like this years ago. I actually turned a plum paper family planner into a five-year journal, but I had questions as prompts. And I used to sell stickers I do not do that anymore. It's just too much work to sell 12 months worth of question stickers. So I apologize. I know somebody reached out to me recently asking if I still made those. Um, I ended up not finishing out that planner because my life took a very different turn after about a year and a half of using it. So I have been wanting to do something and especially with the kickoff of 2020, especially with some you know big life changes coming, I thought, it would be really fun. And so when I saw this product, I was like, it's perfect. Now, obviously the date that I'm filming this is January 8th. And so I'm going to have to go back and do the first couple of days of the year in order to be on top of it. But I'm totally okay with that. I think I'm going to try and focus it more as a gratitude journal and write down something that I'm thankful for. But I think it will also somewhat act as like a, a one line a day because I'm probably gonna be thankful for something that actually happened that day. So let me show you the inside. First, the outside is this gorgeous, gorgeous fabric. Um, it's got like some texture to it. I don't anticipate that this is gonna stay clean for the next five years. Like that is a lot of time and it's probably gonna travel with me. I feel like that's the only way I can keep up with it. Unless I'm going for like just a weekend, I'll probably leave it at home. But if I'm traveling for a week or more, I'll probably take it with me. Like I anticipate that this is gonna get messy and I'm trying to embrace messiness. So I'm just going to have to accept that. But it says five years on the front. It says unbound on the side. And then it's got two little lines at the top and the bottom just as accents. And that's all that's on the outside. It does come in another color, I believe. I'm, I will obviously link it below. And then it has one somewhat of an intro page where you can just sort of write your name and then it goes right into it. So it has one page for every day of the year and it's got space to write all five years. So you could start this any year that you wanted. You could start it in the middle of the year if you really wanted to. And then it's got five lines to write, which seems like kind of a lot. I thought it was gonna be a little bit less, but I think I'll make it work. So I'll start by writing 20 here and then you know fill something in and I'll do it for every single day. It comes with a ribbon bookmark so you can mark your page and then that's it basically at the end it ends on december 31st there's literally a page of notes pages um which well i guess there's i was like there's an even number of days this year but it starts on the back so that's why um so that's it it's a really beautifully made product um let's talk about paper quality quick i'm not going to do a pen test because there's not really a page to do it without stuff being on the back it feels very smooth it has a smooth feel to it it's very white, which I appreciate. It doesn't feel super thick, so I don't think I'm gonna try to use like my Papermate Flare. I think I'm probably gonna use um, a Pigma Micron, which is what I have been using in the Erin Condren Daily Petite. That sort of is a felt tip, so it doesn't leave ridging on the other side, but it also 
um, it doesn't shadow as much. So I think that's probably what I'm going to use. We'll see how I feel about how it writes on it. Plus, if I'm using the same pen for my planner, my daily planner, it kind of makes sense to use it for this. All right. The other two things I got in the mail are both from Allie Edwards. One is an order that I placed because she was having a sale and one is a monthly subscription. So let's start with the monthly subscription. I decided to go ahead and sign up for it because I was making memory keeping a goal for this year. And if you don't get any of the add-ons, it's really actually a super reasonable price. She has two different monthly subscriptions. One, which is the one that I got and I'll show you is more geared towards the actual month that you're in. And then one is a story or a prompt and it just happens to be a monthly subscription. So I decided not to get that one for now, um, but I wanted to go ahead and get the monthly ones. Um, so it comes in this little pouch, which I know a lot of people have mentioned in her Facebook group that they use for storing stuff. All right, I'm struggling a little bit to get it out here. Hang on, I don't wanna ruin some of these things. So I don't know if it comes with the same exact stuff every month. Um, I think it comes with somewhat of the same stuff, but I mean, we'll find out as I start to open them each month. So it does come with a stamp set, which is the one thing that I'm kind of trying to avoid. So I have a couple ideas. I might either try to resell this in the group. I might wait until I have the whole month and then try to resell it, or I might just give it away. Um, we'll see. So it came with this wood veneer 2020, just um, plain wood. You could always stamp this and make it a different color or something, um, but I actually like this color. It comes with a set of word stickers, which I did find myself using a lot in my December daily, so I'm excited about those. It comes with a little quote card, which I kind of ruined a little bit trying to get it out of the package, but that's okay. It's got a quote from T.S. Eliot on this nice blue. It comes with a set of chipboard, which I'm really excited about. I found myself using this a lot in my December daily as well, so I'm excited if I can get it open. Try not to mess up my nails that I just painted. So again, this comes with a little chipboard set. This looks like the color scheme for January. She has a different kind of color scheme for each month. Um, I like that she lets it bleed so it doesn't, you know, even if it's not cut perfectly in the center, there's always color on it. It's just got some more like fresh start things for the new year. And then it comes with a set of journaling cards, which I'm gonna struggle to get open. Okay, so it's got some of the three by four. So we've got um, happy brand new year, the stripes, January memories, get it, renew and refresh. I want to remember, bring on the new stories and less is more. I love those. And then it's got some of the four by six cards. So, so we've got this like little quote, January high five, celebrate this. And then, oh, I like this one a lot, love this. So I'm planning to use this kit as more of a way to memory keep just the like I don't want to use the word mundane because that's really, that's not what I'm trying to imply. But the things that are just sort of a one-time thing that I want to document, like we go to a birthday party or you know, whatever happens that month. That's not like this big elaborate thing like a vacation. It's just like a one little story, but I want to document that that's what I want to go to first is using the January stuff, if that makes sense. Then she was having a sale. So not only did she put a bunch of stuff on sale from past either monthly subscriptions or past um, story collections that she released, but then there was a code for 20% off, off the sale prices. So I may have gone a little overboard, but I do think that in doing December Daily, I learned a lot about what I really like to use. And so I tried to be very picky about only getting stuff that I know that I would use and colors that I would like. Um, and so this is just to sort of supplement the monthly subscriptions and then also to use on some of my vacation memory keeping, which I have a lot of backlog for that. So these are from Week in the Life. These are sticker kits from Week in the Life. So we've got these puppy stickers. I love these colors. We've got these little flags with some different icons. And then we've got these clear stickers. I almost didn't get this because of this, because I wasn't sure if I, I was going to use these. I didn't find myself using clear stickers a lot because I don't really know how to use them truthfully, but I will figure it out. Then there are these little like accessories that look like they're part of the one little word from last year. And I really love using little things like this in my December daily to just add on top of pictures. So we've got all these little chipboard ones with some different phrases, um, different shapes and sizes. We've got these that, actually are these magnets? These would add a lot of dimension. Um, they definitely make things hard to close. These might be magnets, hang on. They're not, <laughs> they're just little metal pieces. And then we've got these little clear circles, which I really liked putting like underneath other stuff. 
All right, and then we've got this whole extra bag of stuff. So I got these wood hearts. I love these. I don't remember if they, I think I may have bought them separately, but I love, love, love these. I love how big this one is. I just feel like that would look really cool on like a full six by eight page. So I got those different wood hearts. I don't know why some of this stuff is separately. I got some of these little um, words that have to do with, well, actually, I know this one has to do with food. I don't know if that one has to do with food. When we travel a lot, I end up taking a lot of pictures of food. So I got some stuff from the food kit with the intention of making it for travel, like using it when we travel. So I got these little wood pieces. And then I don't think these wood pieces have to do with food. I think these are just like generic little wood pieces, but I love these. I love putting these kinds of things on top of, of pictures. Keep going, the story, inspired, etc. A lot of the stuff I think is still on the website and I think some of it is still marked on sale if she still has it in stock. I don't think that the sale on top of the sale is going on anymore, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, I got these little gold stars. These I might just end up using like next December daily. Um, did I end up with two of these same things? How on earth did that happen? I don't really know how that happened. How I ended up with more than one of the same thing. I will say I was trying to do this in a huge, huge rush. We were at the airport about to leave for China and I realized like I wasn't gonna be able to access the website in China. And so I wanted to get the order because I didn't know if the sale was gonna be over before we got back. So anyways, I rushed, rushed, rushed through this. So this is from the travel set. So it's another chipboard set that's from the travel kit. I got a lot of chipboard, you guys. I really found that I liked using them. I've gone through almost all of them in the December daily. This is from last year's One Little Word. So we've got all the different months and we've got some other hearts. We have some word phrase stickers and then numbers, which I know that I liked using in December daily, like different types of numbers. Right, we've got more word ones here. I don't know if these are all word ones. Oh, these are food related ones. So we've got some of the chipboards that are all from the food kit. And then we've got, oh, these, oh, these are the little music notes. We go to a lot of shows, so I figured these cute little, their little colorful music notes would be cute. And then I got this sticker set, which is also from the food kit. I liked that I was able to like pick and choose a bunch of different stuff. So it had these gray stars, which I also feel like I'll use in December daily. And then look at all this cute food. Oh my gosh, I love it. And then it's got these different um, puffy stickers. I know I hate it on the puffy stickers in planner world, but man, in memory keeping world, I love the puffy stickers. Journaling card set. This is from, I think from the travel kit. And I wanted to get a lot from the travel kit, but I, I did resist a little bit. So we've got all these little three by fours go coming home. Love this adventure. I love the color scheme of this too. I do feel like I'm dipping my toe a little bit more in pastel. That's definitely Allie Edwards aesthetic is more pastel. Um, so I'm having to, to learn to love that a little bit more. So we have five travel stories. We have these little stories, go see, do explore, and then a little quote, which I'm all about. I love this one with the pattern on the background. And then we've got another quote. We've got details. Oh, look at this map. Oh, this is super, super cool. Oh my God, that's so freaking cool. Oh, another map. Oh, this is a map of New York. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Obviously I'm gonna use that. And then people, places, and things. I love these. Like I said, I may have gone a little bit overboard, but I'm really excited about all of this. Um, I, my goal for January is just to finish December daily, so I'm not even gonna get to dip my toes into any of this until February. Um, and then I need to figure out how I'm gonna tackle the rest of it because as much as I want to go back and just finish 2019, I don't wanna get too far into 2020 without starting 2020 and, and forget that too. Um, I know that it doesn't make sense. I'm going to forget 2019, but I think that in February, what I'm going to do is do January, 2020, and then also do something from 2019 and then March do the same thing, do February of 2020 and then something else from 2019. Hopefully that'll get me through all of 2019. I highly doubt it though. Actually, that was my quarter one goal was to finish 2019. But when I think about the fact that I didn't, I have ephemera, sitting in a pile from Seattle, from Dubai, from India, from 
cultivate your year live. No, that I put all in my December daily. So just kidding. But then from China and then from the wedding we went to in Houston, both weddings, the one in Dallas and the one in Houston, I have a lot of stuff. Um, so trying to get through all of that. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. Um, March, there's a lot of weekends and I don't really have any plans yet. So maybe I will be able to get through 2019 in Q1, but I'm excited about all my new supplies. Well, tonight didn't quite go as planned. So last time we checked in, I was opening up my happy mail and then I was going to film my plan with me before the live. Um, and then my dad called. So I started talking to my dad and updating him on the venue tours. And then <laughs> I also got his Peloton login, which is exciting um, because I am trying to cut some things in the budget in order to save for the wedding. Uh, we ended up picking the most expensive venue in our final three, not that we saw, but of the final three, it was the most expensive. Um, and so we're just going to have to save a little bit more. Um, so I was, I knew that my dad and stepmom um, had a Peloton because my stepmom got a Peloton for Christmas. And so I asked my dad if it was like unlimited and if I could have a login and do all the classes and stuff on the app. And so I canceled class pass, womp womp, um, which is fine. Um, and I'm gonna do the Peloton instead. But anyway, so that took a bunch of time. So I didn't end up filming the plan with me before. So then I was like, all right, that's fine. I will film it after. So the live was an hour, which is what I anticipated. Um, during the live, Sam called. So I called him back afterwards and we talked for another 20 minutes or so, just kind of ironing out some wedding things. And while I was on phone with Sam, another friend called. And so then I called her back after I talked to Sam and talked to her for another like 30 minutes. And next thing I know it, it's 10 o'clock. And I realized I didn't eat dinner. Um, I ordered dinner right when I got home last night. Yes, at 11.30 because I was so starving. We had a late lunch yesterday. We didn't have time for lunch until later. So when I was at the airport at 4 p.m. I like wasn't hungry and I didn't think about it and it was not a direct flight. It stopped in Dallas but I didn't get off the plane. So I was starving when I got home. Anyways what I ordered last night I had leftovers tonight so I finished those and now it's 10 22 and I'm not gonna film my plan with me tonight. But I really think I should try a film in the morning before work which normally is not the best thing in the world because Sam is here, but he's not here. So I should very much be able to get up in the morning and fill my plan with me before work. That way, after work, that way I can edit it during lunch. It's still not going to be up by noon, which means I don't get a check mark this week. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> it's on my power sheets for this month um, to get my videos ready to go 24 hours before they go live. That's not going to happen. But if I at least do most of the editing during lunch, if not all of it, then I can export um, in the afternoon and then after work I will just unpack and repack so I'm gonna go get ready for bed and get going and hopefully I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna maybe bribe myself with coffee if I get up early tomorrow to film then I get fancy coffee fancy coffee was one of the things I was gonna try to cut in order to both save calories and money but I still have money on my Starbucks like gift card on my app, so it's not... I am still spending calories, but I'm not spending money. Kind of. Good morning. Happy Friday. I had an incredibly busy evening last night trying to finish getting the video ready for today and unpacking and repacking and just lots of things. Um, but I'm ready to go now and I'm about to head to work. I mentioned this in the plan with me that went up that I'm heading into work early because taking my suitcase on the subway once it like really hits rush hour is not fun. So I'm heading a little bit early also so I can just get some work done and make sure that I leave right on time. So I am heading into work. I'm going to go ahead and close out this weekly vlog. That way the rest of it kicks off with my trip to Orlando again. I promise we're having weekly vlogs in New York. I was only here for like two days, so they're coming. I promise I will be spending time in New York this year. Um, but that's going to be the end of this weekly vlog. It was kind of all over the place, but thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you so much for watching. Happy planning. I could have asked camera. Asked camera. <laughs> Little um, action, not actions. I'm saying action because it's right there. <laughs> Tonight didn't actually go, didn't quite, uh, work. So the light, the, 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 because taking my subway on, my subway on the suitcase.